Imani Alexander. Dexter Alexander. Been married for four months, five months? Yep. Four or five months. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we knew we were getting baptized. We woke up kind of early, of course, to pack our bags and everything. And I remember like I hadn't really thought about it as much through the week. But that morning, like in the shower, it kind of started to hit me a little more like, OK, like, this is happening yeah, for real. The same for me. I felt like it was like a pregame preparation. Like <laughs> we was up, you know, I was kind of hype in the spirit. Um, I felt like, like I said, it was a Friday night. The lights was on. I had my helmet finna go out and run on the field for the last time. And I mean, it was exciting. So yeah, we was up worshiping, had our bags together um, in preparation to leave the house. We um, arrived here. And when we got here, we just, I don't know, I felt the presence. Like as soon as we stepped in the door, I felt God's presence of like, just, oh yeah, we here, it's time now. Our friends Chris and Megan came up and they were walking with us. Um, and Megan was just praying over me and rubbing my back. And I just, I, I just have flashes back to when I was little again. Like I can remember, like I could hear the Take Me To The Water song. I remember my little shower cap, my big, too big, you know, robe and stuff. And I, I could just remember like my family being there. And they weren't present on that day, but I just felt them there. You know, I felt like God's presence, like, and all the angels just, just present, you know, just there. It felt like, kind of the music and everything kind of just got quiet. And um, I was really able to feel his presence before we walked in. And so I think for me, I started to like, just get emotional <laughs> and kind of started like shaking a little bit, just excited. You could feel that, hey, you know, I'm dying to myself again. I'm showing again this, this, this symbol of death and resurrection. You kind of start feeling that. Chris was right beside me and um, Chris a big man. Chris, <laughs> he's a large man, but you know, I just felt, you know, his presence. He asked me a couple of times like, you all right, man, you ready? And um, I'll never forget um, Maverick City was playing and I started to like tear up. I'm like, man, like I ain't eight, I'm 29 years old and I feel, you know, God's presence. Um, just with me right now as I'm walking towards this pool. And like she said, I'm seeing the people in front of me being dipped and coming up free, coming up new. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's time, it's game time. It's time to get in the game. And um, I just kept feeling that rush of um, just, you know, his presence, you know, just rubbing my back and just lifting things off of me as I was taking a step forward. Every step I took, I just felt like weights of things being released off of me. And then when my feet touched the water, I was just like, oh man, like, this is different. Uh, this is really different. But yeah, it was a, it was an amazing experience. It was a wonderful feeling. Like uh, a lot was left in that water. I'll say that for sure. A lot, a lot. A lot was left in that water. Yeah. I think you should get baptized today because why wait? Um, you know, you're, you're feeling that tingling feeling deep down or you're not sure why or, you know, you're waiting on the next person sitting beside you or, you know, you're waiting to hear from God. He's speaking to you right now. Um, Whatever that thing is that you unsure about, God's speaking to you right now. There's no need to wait. There's no time to wait. He's calling you right now to come and give your life to Him so that you can experience the fullness of God. All the things that you've ever questioned and wondered about yourself, He got the answers ready to give to you. But you're tiptoeing the line trying to figure out, ah, how am I going, you know? Leave it alone. Get a care to God. Give it up your worries, your cares, all those things are waiting for you. Don't wait, just make the decision right now. God is just calling you right now to just give your life because he has so much more for you. Nothing in this world can fulfill the love for you like God can. And he's ready to give you that right now in this moment. So I'm just praying, we're praying and hoping together right now that, you know, God just, you know, really continues to fill you with his love and his presence and you just, you know, you know he loves you, he cares for you, and he just wants you to take that step, that extra step of faith. So I'm excited for whoever you are, you know, who chooses to give your life to Christ today because, you know, God's calling you to that. And yeah, we love you. We love you. So much, <laughs> and God loves you the most. Yes. <laughs>